I love the clarity and that directness of my V3. This was the original mouthpiece that we designed. Let me just talk to you a little bit about the difference between the V and the O range. The V was the initial form that's going to get real clarity. But of course, we've got some weight in the sound because it's quite a wide rim. <laughs> Get decent weight with it as well. If you're on second trombone, if you're going to go that little bit bigger, you could take a look at the O. V stands for virtuoso, O stands for orchestral. Now, where's the O3? Here we go. Oh, great. If you're on second trombone, it's just got that little bit more weight beef to the sound. It's a little bit deeper, little bit wider. And that's basically the principle of how they all work. You've got the O3, the O4, the O5, and, and the V is just that slightly bit more direct, that slightly bit more precise, exciting sound. If we go on to the V4, I'd love to play on the V4, um, but my lips have just got so much used to, so this, this is a sort of slightly wider rim. What an exciting sound. I love it. I think the most popular one in the O and the V range is the O4. I think that's really a good balance. Now, don't look at these sizes as being relating to Anything you might have seen, don't have any preconceived ideas about what a, a three, a four, and a five is. They're our own numbers. And actually, the proportions of the mouthpieces are quite different to anything else that you would have tried. So that's basically the philosophy of it. If you want more, a bit more bulk, a bit more weight, a bit more sort of orchestral side of things, maybe a bit of second trombone, or I think for young players, you know, the 05, something like that, that's not going to stress them too much then the O range is for you. If you're playing first trombone, if you're playing solos, and I must, I must say, I think, the, I think the V3, I'm addicted to mouthpieces. Um, I've got over 200 of them um, at home, and I keep on a regular basis trying them all out to think, come on, I must prefer one of these, but I don't. I keep coming back to this one every time. As you can see, it's very dirty. Um, so that's basically how it works. I'd like you to think about something. I'd like you to take on board the redistribution of, of proportion in a mouthpiece. Think about playing on a slightly shallower mouthpiece that may go a little bit more in this direction and see how your stamina is not sort of an issue anymore. We get the weight of the sound by this and then we get the ease of playing by this. So my V3, three sounds like it's big. The only thing is really big about it is the rim. The cup is not deep at all. And like I say, I'm kind of addicted to it. My playing is now based around using this. And give that a try. Just playing, thinking of a bigger mouthpiece being one that just goes deeper and deeper and deeper. It's just going to take you further and further and further out from the center of the, of the note. So that's basically my layman's take on the O and the V range. Christian will give you all of the exact details. He loves it.